Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you'll be fine. In today's session, we will learn how you can actually create the OAuth app on a LinkedIn developer portal and how you can actually apply the OAuth flow with the LinkedIn. So for that, I have already created a Node.js API with the port 4000. So first step regarding the LinkedIn OAuth flow, we first need to create a OAuth app on the LinkedIn developer portal, okay? So you first need to navigate to the browser and then you need to type LinkedIn dot com slash developers slash apps okay hit enter i'm already logged in if you are not logged in it will ask to sign in first then you will be redirected to that dashboard here you have a create app button you need to click on that and you first need to enter your app name i'm just going to say this learn with nick and you also need to bind it the LinkedIn page URI. Either you can type the LinkedIn page name directly here. So learn with Nick. I'm just typing that. I have already that page. So I'm just adding that. And then you need to upload the logo because this privacy policy URI is not required. And we are just going to building this demonstration for only testing purpose okay so we first need to this app logo is required we need to upload that and then you need to check this checkbox click on create app inside the products tab you can see you have uh, different products which are disabled okay because you need to first verify your company which we have uh, added when we have uh, created this app so for that verification, you just need to navigate back to the settings tab. Here you can see I have added this learn with make company app page and here you can see it is still not verified. So we need to first verify that. You just need to click on verify button and then just generate URI. Just need to copy that and navigate to another tab, hit enter. And you need to verify this. Successfully verified. Now you just need to refresh and navigate back to the products here you can see all the products are enabled now you can request the access to them okay so we need to request the sign in to linkedin too so we need to request this access because the sign in with the linkedin is added to our application now you need to navigate back to the auth tab just refresh the page once again you can see here we do not have any permission we will refresh this and now you can see we have a different scopes like open id profile and email okay we will use them okay now we need to copy the client credentials so we need to copy the client id and navigate to the vs code here inside the root project inside the root directory we need to create a dot env file inside that we need to create a client id variable we need to paste the value and we also need to create client secrets we will copy the secret from here And we also need to bind the authorization URL, okay? You can see here you have authorization redirect URL. You need to set that, okay? You need to click on this edit icon. Just click on add redirect URL. For this session, I'm just going to add HTTP localhost 44000 slash API slash LinkedIn slash redirect. We will create that endpoint inside our server.js later in the session okay so we need to update now we need to also create the uh, redirect uri environment variable and we need to set here http localhost 44000 slash api slash linkedin slash redirect okay we also need to create a scope variable so we need to say scope and inside that, we are just going to save the email and profile scope for now. Save this. And now we need to create an auth helper inside the root directory. So just click on add file and here we need to create a helper called auth helper.js. Inside that, we need to create two different handlers. One is for authorization redirect URI and other is for the redirect response from the authorization URI. Okay. So we first name the first handler called authorization. And when you are going to building 
the authorization URL with the LinkedIn, you must be needed to set the four different type of a query parameters because those are required parameters. So the first one is a client ID, it is a required query parameter. Second one is a response type. And the third one, scope. And the fourth one, redirect URL. Okay, these are the four required query parameters you must be needed to configure inside the authorization URI with a LinkedIn. And another optional query parameter you can also pass, which is the optional called state. Okay, so now let's start to build the authorization URL. We need to say return, we need to use the sting interpolation, then HTTPS, LinkedIn dot com slash oauth slash v2 and authorization so this is a basically base endpoint or base uri for the authorization with the linkedin okay then you must be needed to bind this for different query parameters so we need to first bind client id we will get that client id from process.env client id we need to copy the variable name from dot env set that here and then it is a response type we need to set this to code and then scope we need to also copy the scope environment variable from the dot env file so here we need to say process env dot scope and the last one is a redirect uri okay and we need to also get that redirect uri from environment variables copy this and just need to say process but env and paste the redirect uri okay we need to encode this authorization url so we need to call encode and we need to place that as a parameter inside that okay and then we also need to create a redirect handler and we need to pass the code which we will get from this authorization url response and here we need to create payload and just save the code we need to place a breakpoint here and now we need to export this so we say module export here we need to export the authorization handler and also redirect helper inside the server largest we first need to import those helpers so we say const require here we need to say auth helper and inside this we need to import authorization and redirect we need to form the code and at the bottom we need to create two endpoints. So the first one is app.get api slash LinkedIn slash authorize. Okay. Bind the request handler. Here we need to return response.redirect. Need to call the authorization helper. And then we need to create the another endpoint called api slash LinkedIn slash redirect. Okay async test response and here we need to return response.json and we need to call redirect inside the redirect we need to pass the code and we will get that code from request.query.code okay now we first need to install the packages so we need to type npm i Packages are installed successfully. Now we need to start the API, npm start. We have a typo mistake here. You can see it is authorization. Npm start once again. Now we need to navigate to the browser. We need to open another tab. And here we need to type localhost port 4000 slash API slash LinkedIn slash authorize. And we need to hit enter. You can see we are redirect to authorize sign in first so we need to sign in you can see we are on the a page and we need to click on allow 
and we have successfully redirected back and you can see we have successfully got the authorization code this session is going a bit long i'm just going to end the session and in the next session we will use this authorization code and we will get the access and refresh token okay i'm hopeful that you have enjoyed this session if you have any query regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries and suggestions via my share contact details take care bye bye